you're going to the library, doing the library club, you're going mm -hmm. to the cadets. At any point in time, did were you like, wait a second, I want to do more than that? Like, was there any uh, drama clubs or anything like in high school that you'd wanted to join or anything? No, well, I did the drama club at high school and that was fine. I mean, where it really started to take off for me is uh, Jack McAllister and Blue Brennan and a few other people formed a thing, and so this would have been grade before grade grade 12, between 12 and 13, something like that, uh, formed a thing called the Great Pine Ridge Festival of the Arts. Mm -hmm. And they set up a youth theater in Newcastle, Ontario, of which the only thing that was there were a few houses and a church where we were going to... And so we all kind of went there, this whole big traveling crew of people. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a, it was comprised a lot of, of people who wanted to be involved in theater, the, the uh, part of the folk crowd, you know, there was... It was the dopers, everybody. Anyway, we went up and we did youth theater for a season. And then uh, they never came back to do that. The next year there was another youth theater in the summer uh, in Orono, uh, called the Orono Youth Theater. And, you know, we kind of like lived in a tent in a field by the Sklar Furniture Factory and, mm. you know, did theater. But it was right at that point that Jack McAllister and Blue and the rest of them started the Ryerson Theatre School program. Mm -hmm. So that was my lead in to think, okay, then this is this is something that I can do and this is something that I want to do because it was an area where there was a great deal of, I think, personal safety involved mm -hmm. and it was something I could do well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so then I applied to Ryerson and, and from there. And what was that first year of Ryerson like? Oh, it was crazy. They didn't know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They were crazy, man. No, it was it was like ridiculous. They had it was, what? Well, tell me. Well, you know, you you'd have you'd have like four different acting teachers, all the way from you know Stanislavski to the most fundamental of old school Brit. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we would do um, ballet and jazz and judo and gymnastics and. Nobody knew what the hell they were doing. Mm -hmm. It was just, you know, we, we would have psychology class. They, they brought in the school psychologist and we'd sit in a room with the lights dimmed and talk about our feelings and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, people punched holes in the walls in exercises. I mean, it was, it was, it was mm -hmm. nuts. And Were they trying to shake up the form of theater or did they just not know? I they? think they just, they, I mean, there were a lot of people who'd never been teachers who were now teaching. Mm -hmm. And they were they were all good. They may have been, been actors or whatever, but but there was no. It didn't feel to me like there was any methodology or pedagogy or or whatever. Right? It was just there we go. We've started this program and we're going to make it work. Mm -hmm. And there was all you know. There was there was just there was just so much stuff, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we started off with forty people in the class and five graduated mm, right. and out of those five um you were the first to graduate i was the first to graduate because my last name begins with a mm -hmm. and uh let's see i think uh sheila lasted maybe a year the one of the other guys lasted like six months um another one lasted a few years and moved over to and ian Ian Large was what, uh, he did uh, some acting for a bit, then moved over to uh, film. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one out of that class who graduated and kept on. Now, mind you, there were a lot of people who were in uh, my year, like uh, Richard McMillan, mm -hmm. right, who had a full rich career. Valda Avix, who went over to uh, London and had a great career. The year behind us was Des McEnough. Oh, okay. um, you know. Had a bit of a career. Mm -hmm. um, Just a touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there were a lot of people who came in and then who bailed because they just thought it was crazy. Mm -hmm. 